Good morning everyone. Mike and MJ here of Mike and MJ's RV Adventures. Uh, we're going to give you a little tour of Dalton Springs Campground in the Manasau National Forest. Come along. Dalton Springs Campground in the Manasau National Forest has 12 sites. Um, there is water in the campground, although there, there's no hookups. Uh, it's first come, first serve. It's $10 a night, and if you have a pass, it's uh, $5 a night. Sites are pretty nice, although the park's a little, needs a little bit of grooming. It's a it's a nice, quiet park. Lots of wildlife. There's a site there. It's pretty big. There's a camp host here. She takes care of uh, both parks, Dalton Springs and Buckboard. Buckboard is a uh, reservable park. Dalton Springs is first come, first serve, as I mentioned. There's vault toilets and uh, water, as I stated. This is the camp host back in there. Very nice, friendly people. There's drive, there's a few drive-through sites. Here's one here. Lots of shade in this park. There's another drive-through site. It's not very crowded yet, but the weekend's here, so I'm sure we'll get more people. There's another drive-through site. There's a uh, lake at the top of the mountain, and there's good fishing, lots of trout. We've fished there several times and caught a really a nice uh, amount of fish, nice size. Coming up on our campsite right now. Across the road there is hiking trails and a nice large parking lot and a vault toilet there. This is a really nice place. We're 8,000 feet up on the mountain. So it's a little haul coming up. It's about seven miles from Monticello up the mountain road to get to Dalton Springs Campground. Plus there's some dispersed camping at the top of the mountain. 14 day limit here. The town of Monticello is seven miles down the road, coming down off the mountain. Uh, plus there's also internet at this campground. Pretty good coverage. The town of Monticello has a grocery store, several gas stations, some diners, pizza shops, a hardware store, post office, a few banks. It has pretty much everything for a small town. There's also eight UTV trails around for uh, riding your four-wheelers and your side-by-sides. We're on our way to Monticello Lake. beautiful country up here. 
as you can see. There's free range cattle all over the place. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Better not run out in front of you, which they do. Buckboard campground is up here, and as we stated before, it's a you have to reserve this campground. It's in the National Forest. There's dispersed camping right up the road here. Lots of room. Right after the dispersed camping is Monticello Lake. probably be fishing there later today. Here is Buckboard Campground. Dispersed camping is on the right, right up here. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in on it here a little bit. There's the, your dispersed camping. 14 day limit. We met a gentleman, but his vehicle was broke down. He's camping right there, as you can see, with the big fifth wheel. His vehicle was broke down, and we ran down and got him some transmission fluid and made a new friend in, from Texas. Coming up to uh, Monticello Lake. You can see the mountains, how beautiful it is up here. We're up pretty high, maybe maybe up 10,000 feet now. There's dispersed camping here and there. There's actually people boondocking along the lake. There's a, a road the whole way around the lake. You can see the Rocky Mountains from here. There's some side-by-sides in front of us. We are at Monticello Lake. It's really a pretty place as you can see. People boondock here. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for coming along with us and uh, have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Mike and MJ out. Bye.